I know I post that medical daily link a lot <clears throat> because a lot of the questions are like, okay, I read this research and I believe you, but uh, how old does the father have to be? Because the, well, the medical daily one uh, is the article that links to the Northwestern study of 2012. Uh, so that answers the question of how old the father has to be. <clears throat> The funniest thing is how, how many uh, people think this is fake. Like, ooh, 40 people don't like me, or maybe like 50 tops, because grr. Uh, and then there's like a few people that do like me, and then there's people that are just like meh. And it's people that are just like meh that are probably not going to swing towards dislike. Because the more information that I don't know gets, the more that they are more likely to swing in my direction despite what you haters pose out there it's already done and settled uh, so I'm gonna read the medical daily article because it's not very long uh, this is from June 11th <clears throat> 2012 Christine Husu as you are familiar children of older fathers live longer and have stronger DNA in the study I'll post the link Scientists found that children born to fathers between the ages of late 30s to early 50s inherit longer telomeres or tiny protective gaps, I'm sorry, caps, on the ends of chromosomes that protect against aging and degeneration disease. And that's from the Texas Department of Insurance. Children and even grandchildren of older fathers may live longer than children of younger men, according to a new study. Uh, this study was conducted in 2012. So you Mayan prophecy fools, hey, maybe you could like throw this around as like evidence of the Mayans, blah, 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 to your little right wing tinfoil hat crowd to get some young honeys. Uh, Scientists found that children born of fathers between the ages of late 30s to early 50s inherit longer telomeres or, or tiny pr protective caps on the ends of chromosomes that protect against aging degeneration disease. Co-author Professor Christopher Kazawa, an anthropologist at Northwestern University, said that while most telomeres shorten with time, they lengthen in sperm, maybe because of the enzyme that extends telomere length, telomerase, is high in testes. Uh, just as telomere shortening has been linked to aging, past studies have found that lengthening telomeres can extend life and reverse signs of aging in laboratory mice. You'll see in my previous video, uh, not the one where I diss on the trolls, but the one before that, uh, the laboratory mice, uh, they, they just recently did an experiment in 2019 where they double the telomere length in the uh, cells of the mice. Before they had, they had made a, the, the telomeres longer, but they had not doubled them. Again, this is from 2012. Uh, but the study that I talked about uh, uh, two videos ago is from 2019. So they've been doing this for seven years. Many studies have linked late fatherhood to an increased likelihood of passing on harmful mutations associated with autism, schizophrenia, and other disorders. Other studies have shown that children of older men have also, uh, also have lower intelligence scores compared to children of younger men. Uh, as a side note to that, uh, mutations such as autism, schizophrenia, and other disorders are all linked to shorter telomeres, and I have posted links to that on my previous channel, Lucas Warner, but uh, I may read parts of those studies uh, that, that talk about that. You can get the abstracts pretty easily online. If you go to college like I was doing, you can get the full studies. Never believe anybody that says they've read the full study for anything, because those studies are like two to three thousand pages long. Anybody that says, yeah, I've read the entire studies is lying to you. Even scientists don't read the entire studies. They may have read like one study on something that they're very much interested in. And that's like 10 books, okay? 3,000 pages for a study when a novel is like 300 pages long. You have not read the full studies if you are 
uh, a student or even a graduate student. You may have read a study, but I would need some evidence of that. Like, show me your, your, your paper on that. Send, send it to me on Instagram. Because there's no way you read full studies. You, you pull my leg. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and, and that whole idea of uh, younger fathers being better and older fathers being better, uh, the side note to that is that was first posed in 1912. You can Wikipedia this guy. Uh, his name is uh, Wilhelm Weinberg, a Jewish scientist, uh, who to me is like the opposite of Einstein, because he didn't run any experiments on this. He just sort of said some shit. And then they began testing what Weinberg was saying in 1998. Uh, telomere discovery uh, and the discovery of telomerase won the 2009 Nobel Prize in medicine. So, whatever Weinberg was on, probably like cocaine or heroin in those days, or maybe he was just a jackass, uh, that was tested in 1998, won the Nobel Prize for the discovery of telomerase in telomeres in 2009, something he didn't even know about. And then 2012, the uh, confirmation that older fathers at Northwestern University, before that it was also, it was first discovered in the Philippines. And they began studying stuff in Denmark, and then it went to Northwestern. They never tell you in the United States the shit that they're leaning on in order to get the information. But the Philippines and um, Belgium were well before uh, the uh, stuff uh, uh, in America. Because in 1992, they had some like inclinations of what the shit was going on. Uh, but they, they didn't link it to older sperm until 1998 as they began testing it. And then confirmation, of course, came 14 years later. And in 2019, they have tons of confirmation on this. Uh, uh, this Chris Kazawa guy has worked with Dan Eisenberg in the University of Washington. Go ahead and email those guys. They, they know more about it. I'm just repeating what I heard from the scientists. Uh, so, however, the new findings published today in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences show that late fatherhood isn't all risk. Researchers measured the telomere length of DNA by using blood samples collected from 1,779 young Filipino adults and their mothers and determined the ages of the children's fathers and grandfathers. I've read the abstract for that study. Uh, anybody that said they read the whole study uh, did not read a 3,000 page study in Filipino or a 3,000 page translation. That person would be lying unless they have evidence. There's hardly any doctors around that read full studies. I bet Lawrence Krauss hasn't read a full study. Maybe he's read like one or two. They're fucking long, dude. They're like 3,000 pages long a study. I could show you papers. Papers are different from studies. Papers are short. Study results show that persons that a person's telomeres became longer not only with their father's age at birth, but also with their paternal grandfather's age at their father's birth, meaning that the longevity effect is amplified over the generations. Furthermore, research has found that each year the paternal or grandpaternal reproduction was delayed was equivalent to the yearly shortening in telomere lengths seen in older individuals in this population, suggesting that these intergenerational changes may be biologically important. So as the telomeres shorten in the rest of the body, uh, they lengthen in the sperm, because uh, the energy uh, transfer is different. I would imagine that would have to have something to do with uh, the energy conference mechanism uh, of the body known as adenosine triphosphate. Uh, it would have to play some sort of role in energy allowances for sperm versus the rest of the body. Adenosine triphosphate. I would imagine that that would have to play some sort of part. The, the findings suggest that delayed paternal reproduction can lead to cumulative multi-generational increase in telomere length in offspring which may promote longer life. So if I had a kid now being 39, 40 next, uh, well, a couple weeks from now, 
uh, my kids would have longer telomeres, thus greater health. And then if my kids had, uh, my sons, if I had sons, if they had kids when they were in their 40s or 50s, uh, my grandkids would have even greater, and my great-grandkids even greater health. Uh, there's no telling what would happen after a point where the hay flick limit would be reached But they've only been able to double the length the hay flick limit is quite a bit longer than double the length of average uh, Something might happen in the chromosomes where they would break after like a certain number of generations or the chromosome would change like maybe curling to conserve space or branching off to conserve space something would have to happen, but they haven't conducted the research on how big they can make the telomeres. They can double the length in mice, which means they might be able to make a pill that would do that. So you could continue being bigots against older men all you want. Just take your pill and you'd have a stronger, healthier kid. Except your father would be uh, immature, uh, behavioral-wise. But hey, that's up to you. Researchers also believe that, telom that telomeres may delay sexual development and instead invest energy into the extra resource necessary to maintain healthy functioning at more advanced ages. Which seems fine to me. If I would have like lost my virginity when I was like 16 or 18, I'd probably be uh, a lot more immature and a lot less happy with my life. I lost it at 27. Uh, just circumstantially. My younger brother lost his at 16. My older brother lost his at like 18. Uh, it, it, it has no real effect. My older brother is like a Republican and lives in an apartment and thinks he's going to be a millionaire one day. Younger brother is a third grade teacher. So that doesn't really affect your life to have sex at an earlier age or an older age. Well, it might an older age because I was more focused on reading stuff, you know, being a nerd, reading information. So I always like new information. Uh, so your lead author Dan Eisenberg. So he did work on the uh, Northwestern study. Uh, he might be like my, my age. He looks pretty young. Uh, so he worked on the uh, Northwestern study and if this was going on in 2012 he would have worked on the Harvard study because that was in 2012 in links to intelligence. Uh, so he's he's like the main kicker and mover in this is uh, Dr. Dan Eisenberg, who's not that old of a guy. He's probably a little younger than me. He looks younger to me. Uh, maybe he's got long telomeres. Uh, hey, Dan. Link it to younger women. If your father and grandfather were able to live and reproduce at a later age, this might predict that you yourself live in an environment that is somewhat similar, an environment with less accidental deaths or in which men are only able to find a partner at later ages. Like, uh, in the country. Eisenberg said in a statement, in such an environment, investing more in a body capable of reaching these late ages could be adaptive, an adaptive strategy from an evolutionary perspective. Like, if you're out in the woods or, like, in an isolated area in the Philippines, uh, your likelihood of finding a mate or not as good as finding a mate in the city. So you had to wait a while before you could have kids because the nearest town is like miles and miles and miles away. And so you're out there like helping your parents uh, and your family survive and to build things and to like survive and whatever you do in the Philippines to, to make it uh, out in remote areas. So you'll find a mate later on in life. And because these Filipinos waited, uh, they accidentally uh, caused their children to live longer and be healthier. Uh, in our recent ancestor, if our recent ancestors waited until later in adulthood before they reproduced, perhaps for cultural reasons, it would make sense for our bodies to prepare for something similar by inve investing the extra resources necessary to maintain healthy functioning at more advanced ages, Kazawa added. Previously, research has also found that people in the top half of the range of telomere lengths live four to five times longer than those found in the bottom half, and people with shorter telomeres were three times more likely of dying from heart disease and were 
uh, were over eight times as likely to die from infection. So shorter telomeres mean uh, less health. And the, there was the whole debate that I had on Facebook with uh, my cancer increase, because cancer also functions on telomeres. The mouse study is, is, is monumental that I just read about from October, uh, two videos before this one. Because what it's saying is with longer telomeres, the cancer rate does indeed go down along with obesity, diabetes, uh, and mental illness. So uh, this is confirmation that you your rate of getting cancer if you have longer telomeres does not directly relate to cancer needing telomerase in order to survive. And in a study that, that I, I, I've looked at before that I may put up again, uh, the white blood cells also increase in telomerase with the older father or telomere lengthening, however you do it, which of course fights cancer. So the whole idea of like cancer, if you have like longer telomeres, you're going to get cancer more often or more readily is proven false by this October study, uh, thus far, far in the uh, process of studying uh, telomere lengthening. I'm going to place the link, uh, the link at the bottom of this video uh, to me on Instagram, and I'm going to also post the link again to the Medical Daily thing from 2012, which has a link to the Northwestern study. I know there are 40 haters out there that just press dislike and then watch the video and enjoy it, but they're only doing it because they're pricks. Uh, nobody would dislike this information but like 40 people. And I don't know who these people are. They're just fucking stupid. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that if you're under 40 and you know about this stuff and you're a younger man, you're probably kind of suicidal anyway. Well, with this information, it says, hang on, live till you're 40, and you might be able to have a healthier family. And your babe, your, your, your girlfriend, might not even be born yet. So like 20 years down the road, when you're like 40 or 41, don't worry about it. I'll have already paved the path for you. And you go to the bar and you're hot like uh, Skrillex. You know what I mean? It's like you're the old man, so you're the rock star, so they're all going to flock to you in 20 years. Don't worry about it. Don't kill yourself. Or it's older men that are just like pissed off that their time has come and gone. Or it, it's always, uh, or it's like younger women that will miss out on the older men. It's always like some form of jealousy from like these 40 idiots that just dislike because. There's always got to be a reason before, behind it. And it's always, they'll tell you something that lacks proof about themselves. Like, no, no, I'm good. You're just an asshole kind of thing. Or they'll say something that bears no relevance to what I'm saying. And I've already like disproven. Like if I was in trouble, why am I not in jail or dead? That doesn't make any sense to me. You're just a bunch of dipshits.